Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to put on those jams. So you're going to need a couple of things. First off, you're going to need a sheet of wraps. I happen, these happen to be the Nepal relief wraps. We did a charity wrap um, around the Nepal earthquake to raise some funds for that. You are going to need a nail file. It does not have to be a Jamboree nail file. Anything will do. Some sort of cuticle pusher or orange stick is helpful. Scissors, also helpful. Um, I like to also have a buffer block. You might like a cuticle pusher. And then either your blow dryer or your lovely Jamberry mini heater. Oh, and one more thing, rubbing alcohol. Okay, so the first thing that I did was to wash my hands with dish soap. So that just helped get rid of all the oils. Then I took my buffer block and I buffed as well. The next thing I'm going to do now is go through with my cuticle pusher and really kind of scrape down the sides and all the way down there. You really want to make sure you're getting these sides also because this is where invisible cuticle live and you might have some there that you don't even realize and that is what's preventing your jams from sticking well or maybe it's causing them to buckle or something like that. So if you don't have a cuticle pusher, you can literally just use your finger and scrape down and push them out. Okay, now that I've gotten that all done, I am going to get some alcohol on a cotton ball and just swipe that over my nails to make sure that they are clean and so to make sure that there are no um, oils or anything like that on there. You can also use um, an alcohol pad if you have one of those or Jamberry cells some nail prep wipes. So I'm just doing a quick little kind of cleanse here. It also helps to get rid of any little uh, skin that the cuticle pusher pulled up. Okay, now that I have my naked nails, it's time to put on the jams. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out which jam fits on what finger. Now I've been using these for a while so I pretty much know what fits where but what I'm just gonna do is kind of line it up here and see how it fits. So this one seems to fit my pinky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my orange stick, let's see, maybe this end is a little bit better. There we go. And I'm going to lift it up. I'm not going to touch the sticky part of the wrap because that will cause it to not stick as well. So let's get that in. And then I'm just going to kind of snip that right in half. And what I just need to do is kind of um, I like to use a set of tweezers because it just helps me be a little more precise. And I'm using the cold application method. So I put it on first cold without anything. And as you can see, I kind of barely put it on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the top down towards the cuticle and then out. Firmly push. 
firmly push. And if I see any sort of bubble, I'm just gonna kind of lift it up and do that again. And it's also good to have that cuticle pusher that also helps to kind of smooth it out. So what I would typically do is all of my nails and then um, come back to heat them afterwards. But for purposes today, I don't wanna keep you here for that long. So I'm going to turn on my little Jamberry mini heater. I don't know if you can really see it all that well. Let's see. Well, let's, okay, so there it is, turning it on. Probably barely hear it because that's how great the mini heater is. I'm just going to hold my finger in front of the mini heater for a couple of seconds. That is basically it. And I'm going to now go down again and push down and out to the sides. I like to give it a little more heat again, just kind of a, a final kind of heat, shut that off. And now I'm going to use my cuticle pusher again. This really helps kind of apply that really intense pressure that you sometimes are just not able to get otherwise. So the real important part for me, because I have curvy nails, is to make sure I really get those sides Push down, there we go, really, really well. Because otherwise, I will see some buckles. Okay, now that I've done that, my next step is to take my scissors. And what I normally would do is kind of give this a couple seconds to dry, not dry, a couple seconds to cool so that you can get a, um, you know, so that it really gets down there. But for our purposes today, we're kind of short on time. So I'm going to trim off the excess there. And then what I do is with my Jamboree nail file, I file straight down like this. I'm not going at an angle, I'm not going side to side, and I'm not going up. I'm just doing straight down and you can kind of, let's see if I could focus, there we go. You can kind of see some of it coming off right there. So this is all the excess. So I'm gonna keep filing it all the way down and you don't want to pull on it at all. You just want to keep filing until it's down. And what I like to do also is I have a glass nail file and what I do towards the end is now at a, here we go, a 45 degree angle, I kind of give it, again, just the downward motion. Let's see, here we go. I kind of do a little bit like this because what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of a tiny little bit at the tip so that there's nothing to accidentally catch on anything. So go ahead and do yours and I'll come back when mine are all done. 